Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to give you a quick update for this present time as you may feel much more vulnerable right now. We are just after an intense new moon and how I feel right now is that we have to be really, really careful in what kind of energy fields we are getting ourselves to like for example if you're scrolling on social media you can notice each post has its own magnetism we are feeling attracted to many different things but more you get yourself into whatever more you start to be affected by it you start thinking about it until it poisons your own energy field and your own mind and your own well-being and right now is this time where more than anything it's important for you to know your field better to know yourself better rather than just constantly keep looking what other people are doing and what's happening in the world and so on so i wanted to remind you about this vulnerability that is present that's why everybody wants to take it easy right now like most people want to take it easy right now being a bit slower uh, not rushing so much and you know being more in your own space so give yourself an opportunity to be in your own space to take time for self-care to get into some creative work you will be really really supported and many closures are happening so closures are this moments of maybe epiphany or you know this um, quick realizations that just hit us after maybe many months or many years maybe where we suddenly recognize why we needed to go through certain challenges why we needed to meet these certain people why the certain breakdowns needed to happen why we needed to go through a certain suffering so we recognize, oh, this is what was awakening, what was kind of boiling within me. Many of these um, closures are happening, also in relationships, and also in maybe your career life, your personal life, your business, or um, whatever you're into. You may recognize that your life is slowly guiding you into not necessarily a new direction but you're getting more clarity around the direction <laughs> around the path you're walking on and this clarity will help you to make the right choices take the right decisions and we all know that clarity needs to be nurtured we have to allow ourselves to be in clear space mental clear space which means that we have to be really careful what we allow ourselves to perceive due to social media and everything that uh, we have access to it's really easy to be poisoned right now it's really easy to be all over the place it's really easy to know almost anything we want about anything and because of that it's much more challenging to stay in tune with ourselves and to be at peace with ourselves and this is the moment um, right now in our lives where our inner peace and inner clarity are more important than anything because that's from where we are expressing ourselves right most of the anxiety most of our worries most of our limiting beliefs uh, most of our false stories are coming from the toxicity that is present within our mental field and if we want to become more pure if we want to evolve in our expression whatever we are doing we have to nurture clarity and i want to remind you that because we had intense new moon that intensified our sensibility and when our senses are more intense we are more acceptable to anything we're perceiving when we're talking with people we may be much easily triggered 
we may be much easily offended or whatever. And when we're doing something creatively, we may much easily sense this creative force that is moving through us, guiding our process. We become a channel for this life force. So it's all about using our senses, using our sensitivity for a certain purpose that can help us to evolve and to know ourselves better. As I mentioned, each of us is like... Uh, each of us is generating electromagnetic field. So each of us has its own gravitational field. And this gravitational field, when it's affected by the wrong information, you will start attracting things towards yourself that you may not like. So when your field stays pure and stays fitted with what you want, you will notice that you become a gravitation for things you want to experience. And that's why I wanted to remind you, to give you this uh, quick update. You can call it an energy update or however you want. An update of how to navigate yourself through this phase right now. If you feel more sensitive right now, if you feel more vulnerable right now, know that um, you are more connected to yourself, you're more connected to your intuition, you're more connected to life. If you feel more anxious right now, if you feel more afraid right now, if you feel like you're thinking more negative thoughts, it's not because you're thinking more negative thoughts or it's not because something is happening and you're more anxious, your senses are more awakened. Uh, like their volume is a bit louder and that's why you sense more. So what you're sensing is what's present in your system. And if you don't like what you're sensing, spend more time in quietness, in your inner quietness. I don't mean to close yourself into a room and then scroll on your phone, but actually sit down and just do nothing. Be in quietness until those inner voices will calm down and as i mentioned right now you are more in tune to life so when you recognize that your mind calms down your brain calms down i can give you a practice i will give you a practice after this so when your inner noises calms down you will notice that there's a presence of intelligence. There's a presence of intelligence which you can ask it for whatever you want. You can ask it for what to do with whatever you're going through, what to do with uh, your life or anything you choose. And you will notice this intelligence will start giving you hints um, where to focus on. Where, what to do, where to start. You will notice that. And the easiest way to really calm down your system is to firstly activate your heart center. When you activate your heart center, you move beyond survival emotions. You go from scarcity, from fear, into beingness, into openness. You can imagine like a ball of light is awakening within your heart center. And once it awakens and expands, becomes a bit um, brighter, stronger, then move it through your throat center and then move it into the middle of your head, the center of your head, and then move it above your head and then guide it into, you can imagine as into the sky into the cosmos. And when you will feel like it connected you to the source, to the cosmos, to, to a source above you, then draw it back downwards again into your body, through your crown center, into your head, let it travel through your throat, into your heart center, and now move it downward. 
downwards through your lower centers and guide it into the center of the earth. And when you will feel that this ball of light is deeply rooted in the center of the earth, now guide it back up, back to your heart center. And once it comes back to your heart center, you will feel completely at peace and completely activated, aligned. Your mind will calm down. You will feel like a connection happened. This connection is usually felt as a warm sensation, a really beautiful, quiet, um, pleasant sensation. And then just be in it until you will feel that uh, this connection has purified your whole system, your energy field. And you will feel the way that clarity will appear. You will feel that you became grounded. You will feel that you became stable and balanced. And once you experience this stability, this balanced state, now within that clarity you can decide how you want to live your life, who you are, what is your um, present position here, who you are becoming, like what is your purpose, how to walk in what we've been talking in previous videos in Dharma, in this law of life, what life wants you to do, what your dreams want you to do. In this state, you also notice that um, time is a bit different than we think it is. The present reality is a reflection of the past. And when you're thinking about uh, what you want to do, you're actually living in the present. You're in the field. You're in the field of possibilities. That's why there's infinite different thoughts and ideas around who you can be. This is the real present moment. This is what uh, we call uh, fifth dimensional consciousness, where you recognize that you're the architect of your life. And your life depends on the ability to think consciously, to think for yourself, to be your own thinker, to recognize that you're not the thoughts, you're choosing the thoughts, you're, you're a beingness that is using the right thoughts for creation. That's what you're recognizing in this state. And I wanted to talk about this today because we can be so beautifully connected to this, um, or not connected to this state. We can so easily access to this state from which we are creating, from which we are um, making our choices from this... Uh, wisest part of us, from this higher self. It's really easy to access your higher self, but at the same time, it's much easier than ever to be distracted from it. So it's always this battle between one and another. Will you choose the wise path or, or will you choose the easy path, that is the path of distractions? And I just wanted to remind you that because I know how easy it is to be distracted. And more we are distracting ourselves, more we are getting into different gravitational fields of different uh, contents and different ideas and different things we come across maybe on social media, and more we feel attracted to it. And more we are doing it, more, more we will feel attracted to more things and that leads to chaos. On the other side, more we tap into our own gravitational field, into our own zone, into our own inner beingness, easier it becomes for us to work from it. And isn't it the state of purity? Isn't it the state of authenticity? Isn't it the state of the true self? So, more than anything, you can tap right now into your true self, into your higher self and work from there. When you're dealing with something hard, when you don't know what to do maybe with a certain relationship or where to take your job, where to take your business to, maybe to the next level or to a new degree of evolution or whatever, this is 
from where you should make your choices. Only you know best what's best for you, right? So when you feel like you don't know what to do, it's not you that is saying that, it's your mind that was programmed by what you've been through. On that deep inner level, you already know what you need to do. And you already know that everything that happened needed to happen to activate you. So learn to work from that loving state. Learn to work with that open heart. As you open and activate your heart, you will notice love awakens. Appreciation awakens. It needs to. If it doesn't awaken, it means you haven't opened your heart yet. So practice this opening of your heart, activation of your heart, where you will notice that this warm sensation of love, of care, of presence, of appreciation, firstly for yourself, for taking time to doing this work, you will notice you think about life completely differently when you're in love, when you appreciate, when you accept, when you care, you think about life differently. And as you start thinking about life differently, you will notice your, priority, your uh, priorities will change. Your core values will change. And those are the most important changes that should be applied in your life right now. So use this present sensitivity for this... Uh, let's say, wise steps of your self-evolution, self-actualization, right? My friends, I hope you found something valuable today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and power. If you found anything valuable here, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It helps to bring this message to more people that need to hear it at this unique time. We are moving through unique times and I just feel that we are becoming more connected with ourselves than ever before. If we allow ourselves to experience it, it is becoming more unique than ever. So my friend, stay wise and till next time, one love.